At the West Beach in Halmstad, Sweden, you'll find the city's largest water treatment plant, Västra Strandens avloppsreningsverk. The plant, which purifies water from most of the households in Halmstad, is currently visited by a very special blue container. The container is a pilot installation for removal of pharmaceutical residue with ozone technology and is a joint project between the Swedish water purification pioneers Primazone and Tillväxtverket, the Swedish Agency for Economic and Regional Growth. Uh, behind me right now we have our mobile uh, ozone plant. Uh, this ozone plant is for water treatment uh, with help of ozone. Uh, why I'm saying uh, mobile is that we have built a container which is very easy to transport between different water treatment plants. The reason to why this pilot installation is now touring water treatment plants around Sweden is as easy as it is alarming. Almost all treatment plants around the world purify water from waste and residue. But when it comes to micropollution, like pharmaceuticals, this is often washed straight out into the ocean with very little cleaning at all. The fact is that most of the chemicals and drugs we use end up in the sewage system and thereby also in the ocean. Recent studies of fish has already shown changed behavior, most likely due to pharmaceutical waste. So a way to purify wastewater from pharmaceutical residue is much needed, and Primazone offers a solution with their innovative ozone technology. The biggest advantage with ozone is that ozone actually oxidizes the pharmaceutical residue. Uh, other treatment methods uh, they filter the uh, residues from the water, but in these filters they still have the residues, so they need to get rid of them some way. The ozone actually splits up the molecules and the normal uh, behavior of the na nature takes care of the molecules. But when dealing with a gas such as ozone, it's very important to keep a close eye on security and be notified if something happens with the process. To remotely monitor the process, Primazone has installed a NetBiter unit from HMS Industrial Networks in their control cabinet. The NetBiter gateway gathers data on ozone production, pump status, water levels, running hours, temperature, etc. and sends this data via the cellular network to a cloud-based server called NetBiter Argos. Primazone can log in to NetBiter Argos at netbiter.net and view their current status and even start or stop equipment. They can also get alarms whenever certain levels are reached and download a log file on system behavior. Especially for us with working with ozone, we have an ozone alarm. Uh, and if the ozone alarm goes on, we immediately turn down the power of the container. So the NetBiter product really gives an advantage for us to be able to judge the problem sitting at home. Halmstad is the last stop for Primazone's blue container. After having visited 10 different treatment plants around Sweden, Primazone can conclude that their solution really do rid the water of pharmaceutical waste. Indeed, 95% of all the pharmaceutical waste has been removed from being washed out into the ocean. If Primazone's water treatment system is to be deployed at Swedish municipalities remains to be seen. But HMS is proud to be part of the innovative project with the NetBiter solution, which helps to keep costs and risks down to an absolute minimum.